Hey boys and girls, Miss Deborah. I am so glad that you've been with us this whole month learning about our Christmas story and God's big story. Today, I have a gift waiting for me here. Do you wanna open the gift with me and see what's inside? It is going to review of what we've learned so far in our God's big story. Let's open it up. Oh, I love presents, don't you? So let's open it up. And our first thing in our present is an angel. Remember the first week we learned how an angel appeared to Mary and told her she was going to have a special baby. And what was the name of that baby? You're right, his name is Jesus. And why is he special? I hear you because he's God's son. God sent his only son, Jesus, because he loves us so much. Okay, then in the story today, you're going to find out about a mom, and her name is Mary. You're going to find out about a dad, and his name is Joseph. And then you're going to find out about Jesus. He was born as a baby on Christmas Day in a stable behind us. And the stable, remember, is where the animals stay and slept. And they eat there, and they couldn't find a hotel, so they had to stay in a stable to have baby Jesus. So then, today, our part of the story, we have one more item in our gift, and it's the wise men. We're going to find out what gifts the wise men brought to baby Jesus. You know, kids, we are so excited that Jesus came on Christmas Day. Jesus is special. Why? You're right, because he is God's son. And that is what we celebrate during this Christmas season. I hope you've had a great Christmas, and I'll see you next year. It's going to be 2021, and I don't know what our God story is going to be about, but we're going to find out, and I know it's going to be great. I'll see you next year in 2021. And remember, God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus, his only son, that if we believe in him, we will live forever and ever and ever. And that's what John 3.16 tells us. Thanks for joining us today. We're so glad you were here. Bye.
time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's your friend Zoe. I'm so glad to see you today. I just love Christmas in the clubhouse. I'm having the best time. Today I'm using all my Christmas cookie cutters to make cool shapes with Play-Doh. I bet I can make the whole Christmas story just by using my cookie cutters. Wanna help? Great! My first cookie cutter is an angel. Do you remember what the angel did in the Christmas story? Yes! The angel told Mary that she was gonna give birth to baby Jesus. This one is a candy cane shape, but it looks like something from our story. Do you know what this is? That's right! It looks like a shepherd's hook. The shepherds told others about Jesus after they saw him. Do you know what shape this is? That's right! It's a star. Hmm. I wonder what it could be for. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Is that a star you've got with you? Hi, Ollie. It sure is. I've been telling the whole Christmas story using my cookie cutters. And the star is the last one. Is the star part of the Christmas story? A star is a part of the story. It's true. I can share all about it with you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. And this month we've been telling the true story of Christmas. There was a baby who was born. Does anyone remember his name? Hmm, let's think, what's his name? Yes, Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. But the story isn't over yet. There's one more part that you've got to know. Let me just put our story mail in the mailbox, and here we go. After Jesus was born, God put something very special in the sky. It was a soccer ball. No, that's not right. God put a puppy dog? No, that'd be pretty silly. No, God put a... Star. Yes, God put a star in the sky and far, far away. There were some wise men who saw it. They knew the star meant something special. God put the star there because his son, Jesus, was born. They got so excited. We've got to follow it, they said. We must go find God's son. So they hopped in their race car. Wait, no, that's not right. They didn't have cars back then. They hopped on their scooters to follow the star. Wait, no, they didn't have scooters either. No, they probably rode on an animal, one that would be able to walk through the desert with lots and lots of sand. Any guesses? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Here come the camels. The wise men got on the camels and set out to follow the star. Finally, the star led them to Jesus. When they saw him, they knew he was God's son, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him presents because they knew Jesus was very special. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. And we can remember how special Jesus is every day, not just on Christmas. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. 
You better believe it. Merry Christmas. So there is your story. It's all true. The wise men followed the star and found Jesus. Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that's such a great story. The wise men followed a star and found Jesus. They knew Jesus was special because Jesus is God's son. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! With these cookie cutters, we can tell the story of Christmas anytime we want to. I'm gonna go tell my sister right now. Let's see. Angel, Jesus, Shepherd Hook, Star. I got them all. I'll see y'all next time. Merry Christmas, bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16.